it's not often that Photoshop gets new tools and AI features. So today, I'm going to show you all those new updates. And in this video, I will also tell you that how you can get this Photoshop latest version with these tools completely for free. First of all, so the new tools are selection brush tool and the another one is adjustment brush tool. So if you can't find it, so for that you have to go to the edit toolbar and you will get it right here and then simply move it to the toolbar. Otherwise, I will suggest you to reset your Photoshop. So, first of all, I will select the selection brush tool and here if you see whenever I draw, so it creates a selection. If you don't believe, just simply click on other tool. There you go, it is a selection. Now let me show you the difference. For example, I have created this selection, right? And if I press Alt or Option plus Backspace, there you go. It has this shape, okay? Now let's do another thing. If I take this selection brush tool and then simply paint like this, it will automatically fill the inside area. And again, if I fulfill it, Control plus make space. There you go. If you see the change in color, so it's the selection. Let's deselect it. There you go. It's a selection. For this example, I have this picture. I will simply select the selection brush tool and simply draw on the subject. If you want to change the overlay color, click on this setting icon and change the overlay color. For example, I'm going to select the yellow. There you go. So right now my overlay color is yellow. That's fine. Now, as I told you, it's a selection. You can see it's a selection. Let's select the selection tool again. If I go to the filter, click on blur and click on the Gaussian blur. Now just look, it's only affecting the area that which is selected. Look, I'm increasing the value. There you go. And one more thing, these two settings are same as the other selection tools. So from here, you can increase and decrease the size and hardness. There you go. So for example, I'm going to make my brush much more softer. All right. And increase the size. If I create a selection and just click on layer mask. So you can see a soft transparency right here. Well, basically, the selection brush tool works same as a quick mask. Well, it's time for the adjustment brush tool. Simply I will select the adjustment brush tool and what does it do? Whatever we find right here in this adjustment panel, all those effects can be found in the adjustment brush tool. Like in this menu. Look, the brightness and contrast that is selected. The brightness and contrast that is selected. And now if I decrease the brush size and just paint over the area that I want, so look, it will do the job. Now let me show you the before and after. There you go with the before and after. You can go to the properties, click on the layer mask and increase the feather for the softness of the edges and give it opacity. There you go. So this is what the adjustment brush do. Now, let's learn it more in details. For example, I have this picture, right? And if I go and select the hue and saturation, the hue and saturation, right? And here, if I paint on a balloon, so look, you can see that where did I paint? But if you check this overlay, there you go. You can see the work that I done. Disable it. And now if you change the color, look, it's only changing the color, right? Let me show you it's another version. For example, you want to select one by one like in object selection tool, right? So you have the icon right here. If you check it or simply you have to click on this apply to object. So if you check it and then if you hold your mouse, so it will show you each thing separately. So for example, I'm selecting this one. Look, the colors automatically change. Let me show you in the layer mask. There you go. Let's change the color a little more.
so the next update that is if i create a rectangle or any shape it used to open a panel once we create it right like this and we used to unlink and link right so instead that if i click here if you want to give radius to any corner right over here for example i'm giving to the bottom left corner the 100 pixels hit enter there you go it has taken that radius and if you want to increase it the overall on all corners right so you can give it at the top so this panel that is really amazing one as well and if you want to download this latest version of photoshop so for it you must be our subscriber plus you must be our follower on facebook then you can simply message us and we will give you the free version of it so you can use these tools for free so the next update there it is in police and numbering so how does it work like before this update we used to type every bullet manually right so all you have to do just select the layer look it is selected just select the selection and if you click right here in more properties there you will find this bullets and numbering look here we have it one two three in the capital abc in the small abc in the capital roman and in the small roman if i want to add something just hit enter look so let me show you how you can type it manually as well select the type tool and first give a number for example one and then dot and give it a space there you go it has activated the bullet now just type example one example two so you can type it manually if it's not available for you so you have to go to the edit click on the preferences and then choose type here you will see this checkbox so you must have checked it so the last update in adobe photoshop you can generate an image as well with the prompt so you have this icon look this icon if you click on it there you have it look it says generate image so all you have to do just give a prompt and simply click on the generate and it will generate it for you so for now i don't have it right so i will just click on this one so it has given the prompt of this picture you can try the other pictures as well well that's enough for now kindly like the video and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you